I'm going back out. Dude, I would lose listen, my mind. Listen, 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 listen. Referee, mute your fucking mic, please. Back referee, back mute back your back mic, back please. There enough game. He's playing FaZe Clan. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 164 of the Optic Podcast. This episode is brought to you by Cheez It, Very Heal, and Do. And we'll tell you a little bit more about them later on in the podcast while we let Maniac, who's Ugh. been hitting the gym. Y'all, uh, this is what happened. Er earlier, to, as he sat down, he unscrewed it so that it would no. fall so that he can have a moment of flexing his muscles. Look at him. I don't doubt that week, too. Goes to the gym for a week straight and he's flexing. I'm only on week two, and quite frankly, I know y'all are sick of. I'm I'm sick of talking about it. I Damn, can't stay I'm committed. I've just accepted for the rest of my life. That like I'm gonna work out for three months, and then it's over, and then I'll just slack off. It's been three weeks I now. I still have. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I still have this like sick fantasy of like I'm just I'm <laughs> jacked, I'm shredded, <laughs> I'm tatted, I grow two inches. Like it's not happening, but it's just so hard. <laughs> and I'm like, I I haven't come to terms with that won't happen because i still feel there's a chance but i mean it's like it's been 15 years well how old are you uh 32 okay so it's only gonna get tougher <laughs> yeah right and, and you know you're gonna start losing mu look look at me right i'm disintegrating right before your eyes you do look tiny today thank you well it's not it's well, not that's that I'm... fat yeah thank you Yes, thanks. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Tiny plus fat is what you say. <laughs> thank you. Uh, yeah, that's I. I too have. To think about this, man. To give up tacos, give up beans. Food is Can't hard. To give See, up I can, rice. I think I can do the gym. I feel like I need the gym just to like stay sane a little bit, feel productive. Like it just gives me like a free W on the day, is what I always say. Like even if I had a shit day, I'm a lazy sack of shit. I'm just not feeling it. My mental health. You get that pump though. Yeah, the you get a little health. pump. He's you like, hit my mental health. My mental health. Uh, <laughs> you get a <laughs> you get a little pump. You hit the gym. You you actually push yourself. You just like I don't know. I feel better afterwards. And then I I think I like need that. I just need that little bit that little W. Food. I don't know. Even last night I had my girl made cookies. Um, so I had like three cookies, then a little bit with chocolate milk. And then, I, and then mm. literally probably an hour, hour and a half later, I had a, uh, brown sugar cinnamon pop tart Ooh. with chocolate milk. Fire. And, and it was like, neither, <laughs> then like neither time was I hungry. You were just, I was you just woke like up with the bored. Yeah. I, well, I've shit three times this morning. <laughs> I, I usually do too, but, um, were, were you uh, under the influence of anything or you just were fucking yeah actually okay. i had a borderline not panic attack last night but i smoked last night and yes i wanted to talk about this on the pod <laughs> i smoked last night and yesterday i tweeted i was like uh fakest member in optic yeah and i put like seth bose zinni hitch and of course everyone voted for zinni and but it like popped off and yeah. like hella people were like just replying and shit and then like hella like gremlins came out of nowhere and started like talking shit to zinni oh boy and it got like i think it almost had like half a million views and like almost like forty thousand votes Damn. Yeah. like i was like this shit <laughs> like i thought <laughs> bro, wait that's why you had a bro, <laughs> bro i thought like I, I expected it was just like some random shit i thought yeah. like yeah. I, I've, I've made po random polls like that before and it like barely gets attention like no one cares whatever <laughs> But like, this one caught on, and like, Zinni was just getting fucking verbally <laughs> annihilated. Like, <laughs> I'm just imagining you. It fucking got to stung. the point where people were saying like, "Maniacs fucked up for this." Yeah, and I was like, <laughs> but the thing is, I tweeted it, and I didn't look at it. I did like the sponsored stream. I don't know. I was just like distracted. Never looked at the tweet, and then like later that night, I smoked, and then I laid down and looked at it. And then I like saw this shit. And you feel and I bad. saw like Scump replied, and he was like, "Damn, this or this poll was crazy." Hitch replied, he was like, "This poll was great." Like, and I was like, "I was like, wait, is this one of those moments where I'm like not self aware?" And this <laughs> yeah, was like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. they're sitting back and they're saying like, "Why the fuck would he tweet that?" Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like I was like overthinking <laughs> yeah, that. Bro, I, yeah, was, yeah. I was I was kind of losing my mind. I like. At first, I texted Hitch. I texted Hitch. I texted Bose. <laughs> like, yo, I we was good? Like, I was like, yo, is this fucked up? Like, I'm like, 
I'm losing my mind over here because people were adding me and they were like, um, what'd they say? Or they were just saying like maniacs. Matt, you're not going to bring it up for us? Oh, I deleted the tweet. Oh, oh I, I did see it. I, I did see I, it. I deleted the tweet. I, de I listen, I, 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 I voted yeah. for the, I voted for, I voted for myself and I was I, still winning. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I, voted, I voted for Seth just because I knew that the least amount of, of, of people were going to yeah. say that just to see like just where we're saying that. I saw Methods winning. I'm like, I'm like, oh man. And I did it. Methods I, had like 50%. Yeah. Yeah. yeah 52. Um, <laughs> the, the, the thing, the thing there though is that like, it's, it, I know how you've done. I've done it before on the on the on the watch party. I've been it, like, and I'm, it's not like I'm saying who's the most hated in optic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying who's the fakest in optic. Yeah. Like that has like no substance. To yeah, it. Yeah, like yeah, It doesn't. Who's and it's, the fakest yeah. in optic. They yeah. really got forty thousand votes. But, but yeah, people were yeah. That it like popped off randomly. Like all the a lot of like ex cod pros or whatever, like Clayster and Eggs, and a lot of people were just chiming in on it. What were and they saying? People were. I think Clayster said like this is the easiest vote of my life or i guess he voted <laughs> for zen or something and then ache said like damn the people really know their stuff or something yeah, like that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, i've but done like people are saying like maniac or maniac's weird as fuck for that and like yeah. tagging me and i was i don't know did you, did you felt expect, a little bit bad yeah i texted yeah, zen i was yeah. like yo my bad like i don't i didn't know and i saw zen tweeted like that that emote that goes like yeah <laughs> and then people were replying like, "Yo, don't worry about that poll." Yeah, yeah. I, was like, what the fuck? Uh, I saw all of that, and it just nah. It's I got it. smoked right before, so it just made me like go into this like kind of a little freak out. And I like texted in. I was like, "Yo, my bad." Like, like I noticed like how of people start coming at you. Like, I, I I don't even remember what I said to him, but I basically apologize because yeah. I I like know he got. He just started getting fucking like verbal yeah. and the mentions yeah. from like, that tweet. I like yeah. heavy, and uh, I know he. I, I'm I'm assuming he's like good with the hate. Like he, not that he brings it on himself, but like he trolls about it as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But he calls himself the anti-click. Yeah, and here's so, proof that so he isn't he, that. <laughs> yes. So I know he's not like crying over Press, it, yeah, but yeah. it might have. I don't know. I just felt. May have fucked up his night. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I would have smashed some cookies or something too after yeah. that. To be honest, I wouldn't. Yeah, have been I would have been like, the "What diet. the fuck?" Like, I, like I, I got it. I, I, as I was no, saying, I, I've, I apologize. Too, yeah, man. no, it's. Okay. It, but it's you just didn't like. Just like directed hate at him. Yeah, it, but it, but it didn't come from a negative out. place from you. Not at right? all. Nah, because no. you, you know, when I I've saw that, like that before. When I, yeah, when polls. I saw that, I'm like, oh, he must have got gotten kicked out of the of the streaming team for that one day oh, or something, man, right? So yeah. that sort of thing. And also, like, I've done that on the on the watch party before, and people do go a little bit too far, and not they're the ones that are not self aware. Because I'll be like, who'd win in a fight, chat, Zinny or Scump? And everybody's obviously like scum, scum, scum. He's like, well, I know who they were gonna fucking vote for, like uh, you know that sort of yeah. thing. And that, that never comes from a malicious place, yeah, right? right. Uh, also, also, it is, it is, you know, Zinn is the newest member of Optic, yeah. right? Like he's. If he's, I'm, if I wasn't to like, I wasn't even throwing a jab. I know, but like I was including yeah, yeah. him because I like him. Yeah, 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 of course. You didn't include me because why? Well, I was gonna include you. But <laughs> there was not enough room. That, that might have been crazy. <laughs> people were like, "Why didn't? Why did people? People were like, "Why didn't you include yourself?" All my Talking mentions. Me. All my mentions were. I knew Money B was gonna win. This. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, because you were the least. Oh, you were the least. I felt bad. I had a little. Oh, that's what you meant by win. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not in the good. The Money good B. way. Yeah. Not the good way. Yeah. 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 <laughs> got it. Got it. Uh, that was my fucking. That's night, a crazy night, night, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> I deleted it, texted him, apologized. Like I couldn't get to sleep. Yeah, no. You know what's crazy about that is that um, that is one of the one of the medicinal uh, practices for me with cannabis is that like I like to and I say it. I like I like to reset my uh, my paranoias. Yeah. Right? Uh, when when you're in that state, uh, for me it's uh, mostly when when it's an indica <laughs> uh, or like a indica dominant hybrid. That I, I get like those those like uh, those those little hints of of, of negativity and and all that. Hints, I get overwhelming negativity. Yeah, exactly. and well, paranoia. I go like, out of my way to put myself in in those positions where just like if every, like everything's gonna go wrong, yeah. what where are the potholes essentially? As I'm driving down this road, it really will make you think about life like from a different yeah. perspective. Like oh, you're, you're outside yeah, of yourself and you're like, yeah. Oh, so shit. what I like to do is I like to write them down. 
right? See, I know. I just see. No, you out. should. You, that, that's <laughs> like you have. You have to, uh, though. In my opinion, you have to because that's a really quick way to sort of recenter yourself and say those are just bad thoughts. Like it, thinking about them logically right. and arguing against uh, against them. So when you're sober, you don't look at them and think like, oh, this is reality and this. No, is, no. Uh, but, and I've done that like a lot. Like yep. uh, you know, obviously. Um, and and I just like with logic, I have answers for everything, and I write them down, and then I right. fucking look at them, and I'm like, okay, like for me, it, it might be unhealthy. Like I don't know what happens inside of my body, like when stress, like what ha what it does to my to my intestines, my heart, you know that sort of thing. Yeah. But for my mental afterwards, it's really fucking relieving. I'm just like, w just give it, give me everything that could go wrong right now. <laughs> Wait, it's relieving when you break down what could go experience wrong. Experience the negative, but like, yeah, battle through it. Well, no, not battle through it. Like just, just I just go examine through it. Yeah, I just go through a process of examining it, and and it, it it's like I don't know. I've always done that. Always, my entire life, I've always done that. I you always really got, like write like you'll experience like some negative thoughts, and you'll start writing shit down. Well, no, I, those thoughts, not my thoughts around those thoughts. Like that very specific thing, I write down, and then the following day, I'm just like. Boom, 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 boom. Or even later that night when I like, you know, go go uh, go watch a show or have dinner or whatever. Like I'll come back. And be, uh. See, this is why I stopped smoking. I don't want to deal with this shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's well, too I, much. I, I, I have to. I, I don't. It's too much. It's so annoying, man. I used to love it. Same, would you rather be? Right? Would you rather like, be caught happened? off guard? Oh, bro, summer 2015. Whew, whew, it was all day, all oh, night. Yeah. <laughs> but, I just, but what I happened? Just can't do it. I don't know. Huh? What? Like why? I'm still in I it. I guess I'm right. I know Pose is still in it. He's do you get loves do you get panic, panic attacks through, during it? Oh, only times that ha only thing that happens to me is like let's just say if I like over smoke, I'll get I'll kind of feel like I'm getting like a fast heartbeat and just yeah. like tweaking in my then mind. You start thinking about but I'm not thinking that, like I'm going to die. No, or, in those moments though, those are the that's that's like when yeah, I my natural instincts yeah. kick in. I'm like tweaking like I yeah. hear something I look Yeah, like, yeah. But yeah. like I'm not like in my mind like but I told you the only thing that happens is like when I'm parking late at night home, I'm like, I'll fuck a hops out of one of these cars. I'm, I'm gonna shit myself. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just die like a cat. Like, Dude, I, I swear, like I used to be like that. Like I used to, when I was like 17, 18, I used to smoke, go to work, on my lunch break, smoke, go back in. I was what? a cash, I was a cashier dealing with just people at a grocery store, dealing with people like left and right. And I have no, I don't know what happened. I don't know if like. I don't know. I can't say it's like if I just like gained awareness about the world and started yeah. fucking like yeah, yeah, yeah. wondering what the fuck's going on. Like I don't, I I really just don't know. Or I I don't know if it's it started. I noticed I, when I was probably like twenty one or something, I would smoke and then I would start getting like a li a little paranoid. But it's almost like I didn't even know what that feeling was. And then I went to a TON and had my first like full blown panic attack. Well, t t t uh, what? Uh, TLN. Uh, TLN, the land network. Yeah, yeah. Where, if you guys don't know, it's where... That just brought all back the old, like a flood of memories. All yeah, the just old Halo, Halo yeah. teams used to go to this dude's house in Chicago, uh, Mr. P. In Pinocchios. Land, in land, yeah, the Pinocchios in uh, land in his house. And they had much better weed than I... See, I had the Hagerstown Brown, mm -hmm. and then I went there, and they had some shit from Chicago. The Chi Town Brown? And I... And I <laughs> And I smoked that, and it's, I was just fucking freaked out. Like, I thought I was going to die. I literally came to the to terms that I was, like, my heart, like, I could die here. I was like, should I go to the hospital? Like, my heart was beating crazy. I had people feel my chest and be like, what the fuck? <laughs> and I'm just like. Oh, so like, it really was. Were you doing Adderall at yeah. the same time doing those? those? Yeah. Well, I was on Adderall. Uh, not, not that you need Adderall to create that when you smoke or when you no, get I mean, into that Adderall will it create like heart palpitations yeah. as well and just makes you but then you feel it more when you smoke the weed mm. oh yeah I, I, mean, you're just, I, I felt everything you're just more. more aware think about it. everything tastes better but like I, I was everything just feels laying better. there waiting to die listen everything tastes better everything feels better when you're you know and this is not a PSA for you guys to go and pick up anything or go do anything I'm just that is how I explain it, it, weed to people that have never smoked. It just amplifies anything you're feeling. Yeah. So good food tastes better, good music sounds better, but like bad, it will amplify the negative. More bad, bad moments yeah. feel bad. Yeah. It, yeah. it kind of just feels like when you're like super tired, like you're do like not like dozing off tired, but like the hour before you're about to go to sleep, you're just like, like in a too, troll yeah. laughy mood, like giggly and 
That's kind of how it is. You're mm. hungry as fuck. You just want to eat everything. Mm. Oh, Unless you post a poll on Twitter and then yeah, 40,000 yeah. people respond and to it. And then you get 500,000. You have a panic like, attack. Fuck, this think, one. <laughs> and then you send Even... your friend into depression. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Zinni's doing well. You, Even... did, you post me, I win in the, the bad You're win, happy. and I just missed a podcast today. Dude. <laughs> Even Even the drive here this morning, when I there's traffic. There's a HOV lane. I don't even know what that stands for. Do we know what? I H- think that's if you get if you have a passenger, yeah. right? So like you if you're like HOV. pulling the yeah. work, yeah, yeah, I think yeah. that's who it's for. Yeah. But I, but there was hella traffic. So you got and I was already late, so I hit that shit. <laughs> it was a no man's land. Yeah, like was, no one else was on like that, that shit. Uh, watch this. And I was skipping tra- I was skipping all the traffic. It but like it put me on the. Like, I'm driving this way, yeah. or the road's this way, the other cars are coming this way, and it's putting me right beside the other cars coming this way. Yeah. And, like, the side was kind of high up, and I just see, like, a huge tractor trailer coming around. The, like, I thought I was on the wrong side of the road. Yeah. And well, I, the reason it was, it was a nomad is because of the expensive fines that they give you when you break yeah. it. Oh, really? No, no, no. I was just trying to panic be, you. Instead of, like, normally going under, like, on the highway, like, cents is probably, like, two fifty, three dollars really? Worth the you risk. You know me. I I'll took you. You took that all shit? All day. <laughs> well, you got Bro, I took it. I was scared. I thought I was on the wrong side of the road. No, that has no, to I used to think no, that too. I'm like, why is no one taking this? Until I this? figured it out, like, I, these motherfuckers better not have that. Cl- like, it better not be open on this side when it's the other way. Oh, yeah. That's how you determine. Nah, you know nah, what I'm nah, saying? Nah, nah, would they wouldn't do happen. you like that. No. <laughs> no, no, no. That would, uh, that would be really, really, really bad. Uh, CDL ref was washing dishes during the game. Did you guys see that? Yeah, what? Did. Dude. What? Actually? Fuck was he doing? <laughs> you didn't see it? Yeah, he got me, got me. I'm going to back up. Dude, I would lose listen, my listen, mind. Listen, listen, listen. Referee, mute your fucking mic, please. Referee, mute your fucking mic, please. <laughs> they're in a fucking game. He's playing FaZe Clan. Oh my god. No, they're playing... No, this was, uh... They're playing Wait, why does this have to, 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 to Texas and Los Angeles Thieves? This right. whole thing's gonna Let's not be grabber. distracted by that. So, I want to hear it, because I want to hear... What did he say? Referee, meet your Someone's fucking mic. Referee, meet your fucking mic, please. Grab back up, guys. Up fire, up fire, up fire. We. Oh, you hear the You actually hear the like the ref found out they could hear shit and probably his heart dropped as soon as he said referee, meet your fucking mic. Yeah, the ref standing there with like not watching the match, wireless headset, doing dishes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not refing. Yeah. Well, the thing, bro. What do you expect them to do? Right? They, they, they went from seventy-two. Esports employees, but so they got to multitask. Now you got to watch. Now you have to do a whole bunch of shit. That is that is a good point. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not. It's and uh, you know what I'm saying. Neither here nor there. It's just. It makes. It's. It's. It just. uh, It's just. (laughs) I mean, it's the state of the game oh, right I now. I mean, NYSL. I was saying <laughs> this is the state of the game right now. <laughs> this is the state of the game. It's I'm the not state of uh, Call of Duty. Uh, I mean, I'm, oh, I the... didn't just make up that a ref was washing dishes during a fucking match. That, that is literally crazy. just like, this is this is I what's mean, what's wrong. Do, though, this like... is what's wrong with like today's reality, right? Like it, everything is so absurd. Everything that's going on is so fucking wild that it you're desensitized to it or desensitized to it, where you're just like. Yeah, like me saying it's like this is the state of the game. You laugh like ah ha ha, it's the state of the game. Sounds goofy. It literally just like we just witnessed yeah. it, and we 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 shouldn't just brush it off as if it's. I mean, yeah, you know I would have been pissed about that. Um, like, yeah, I but and again, this is not this is not no blame on anyone, especially not the ref, right? Dishes do need to be washed mm-hmm. at a certain point. And he ain't got nothing. What's he gonna? Maybe what not are they in the match? Actually, is there like a rule book to what they ref? Like, what do they watch for? Probably, like, just if there's a dispute in the yeah, game. Yeah, if somebody calls like out, like, like ref my controller, ref my controller, yeah, my right. controller, my controller, and then the ref goes and, like, you know, pauses it and then writes down the report as to what happened. And then at the end of the week, we get a report saying, like, oh, this match started late because of this, or this got stopped because of this, and they got fixed, and blah, blah, blah. Uh, but, you know. Oh, the Halos event around the corner? I didn't even realize. Yeah. Yeah, March 15th little, to the 17th. I've been watching a little Halo lately. Who's the phase who's the top dogs? Good. We still the still phase, phase. Yeah. Once they, who is it? Renegade Royal Two Snake Bite Frosty. Oh, that's phase now. Once they drop lethal, and they started a little slow, but once they dropped lethal and picked up lethal and picked up Renegade, 
I was like, man, they're going to be nasty. But then they got like fourth, third, second. I was like, okay, maybe not. But then now there's just, it seems like they're, far the they've best. caught their stride. And Did I would say playing? by far the best. Like, first off, how is complexity higher seed than us? I didn't know that. Um, I would say, I'm, I mean, I'm still saying we're, it's still a top, the top three teams are phase SSG and us. But FaZe is looking really good. SSG's looking really good. I guess we, Who did Lethal go to play for? Uh Lethal's Sentinels. playing for Sentinels, oh, actually. Okay. Who does APG play for? They he didn't even make pool play. Wait, what team did he play with? It's like him. He has a pretty good team too. Him, Collect, Mickwin, and Barcode. I don't know. I heard of Mickwin. Yeah, the, they're like I look at that team and I was like, oh, they'll be pretty good. Like they could pr probably like randomly get like a top four mm -hmm. or something like Like they could be nasty. Um, but apparently on the cups or the online cups, they're not doing too good. So they APG to went open? from a top two, top three team to not making pool play. That wow. fucking sucks. Um, but I mean, I still think so. Now they they're playing through open bracket at this event, and if there's someone you don't want to play in open bracket, it's APG. Like he's just a well, yeah, he's probably gonna he's shit on demon. everybody. Yeah, they're gonna yeah. they're probably gonna shit on everyone. So, I don't know. Hopefully, they do well. I did not know we were fifth seed, though. Yeah, I was about to say, who did we pick up and place APG? I can't read that. Penguin. 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 Oh, okay. Now is, known now, as Dead Zone. Yeah. Now known as Dead Zone. If you want to hear, if you want to learn about him, watch my eavesdrop podcast with him. He'll oh, you just had one? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. He, too, comes from the uh, from the UPS. From Juarez? Uh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Can you imagine just blonde dude, fucking six, <laughs> six foot three blonde dude out of Juaritos? Wait, is he tall? He's not that tall, is he? But he is tall. He's taller than you. Bigger than you. Faster than you. Stronger. Better looking. Better at Halo. For some reason, nah, people I don't know about better at Halo, but people everything think I'm else. Short. I'm like, people think you're short? They're like, damn, Bose, I didn't know you were this tall. Like, what? I think <laughs> people just always expect like 5'9, five, 5'10. Five, because I, I hear it at like every event. Damn, you're taller than I thought. Yeah. This team was ultimately going to be a fucking contender, regardless. They were a contender before with Lethal, obviously with with uh, with a you know a new Renegade ingredient, potentially the best in the game. Renegade, yeah. I would say. Wait, did I see him beefing with someone? Probably with you. Probably monster no. walling or something. I, I could have sworn. Maybe I'm tripping. I could have sworn he had a. Spartan the dog always beefing on yeah, the see, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Their yeah. 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 arguments are hilarious. Who, who? Spartan the dog and, and flame. flame sword. They'll tweet each other even, by not see. tagging what each other or anything. What are they beefing about? Yeah, what, the most what? random shit. It, it's like, about like the, I'm still in the dog's head. and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Little pebble going like a pup or something. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> Somehow Mike's flame sword saw is like beef in the Halo community. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's funny. It's so hilarious. I can't picture Mike having beef with anybody in the Halo community. I, I no, Mike, does, right? Somehow. I'm, yeah, it's I like he's a piece you know, that's me either. I can't that's what you imagine think. It. But like he's an arguer. I think he just ar I think he's an arguer. Yeah. I don't know well, if that it's we know. like Bo's knows. Yeah, yeah. I know he's arguing. Because, like, yeah, like, what he would do, what I would hear out of you two is, like, what he would <laughs> apparently do. I feel like I never really saw it, but, like, <laughs> people always had something to say about Flame. Really? Yeah. yeah. Well, not people didn't know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, like yeah, yeah. he's on their fucking mind. But, like, they were, there would be, like, words said about Mike. What? <laughs> like, <laughs> That's I'm not sure. crazy. He it's likes not, to play devil's advocate. Like if you say something as a fact, like he'll just challenge whatever yeah, you say yeah, just yeah. for the sake of he'll challenge. Go on Google yeah. right there. Like, yeah. Right. Well, it says. Yeah. <laughs> like if Mike disagrees with something, he'll like say it. He won't just like let yeah. it slide yeah. or. And then, I don't know. No, he's I good. He, he, I, that's he's, hilarious. Yeah. I can't because I can't picture it. It's like. I didn't realize it either until I like teamed with them and then I would I'd notice it more. And then even <laughs> since retire retiring, like I've noticed that he's like still somehow beef with people. Yeah, beef with people on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, it's and like you wouldn't expect that at all with like yeah. how like chill he is, but uh, what the hell? Funny. It's hilarious. When, and, this guy uh Bose and, and Mike were arguing at the at the what was it, the MGM lobby and shit? Oh, yeah, <laughs> oh I don't even know what it was, but I was like 
I was like, man, these guys are literally like fucking little brother and little brother. Just like, you carry this fucking bottle of water. And then he'd be like, Boom, he'll throw it and shit. Just flirting constantly. Yeah, I was just like, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I used to tell him, right? Oh, <laughs> uh, man. Uh, so that's good. So just uh, as a public service announcement, March 15th through the 17th, uh, we are having the Optic Halo Major here in uh, Arlington at the ESA facility, uh, usually where we have our events. Uh, the ticket promo and the Team Pass promo should be linked in the description down below. But as always, it's going to be a good one. I don't think that I'm going to be at this one, unfortunately. Um, we're going to be. I don't know be... if I will either. What? I don't even think we will. Neither. Seth... The watch party. Yeah, the watch yeah. party. You coming with? Where? The watch party. What watch party? Oh, because you're doing the watch party do for a, Halo. I thought I was doing uh like I got my content sheet and everything. The um, and I thought we were doing the or Seth was doing a watch party. I was gonna be on his show. Oh yeah, I yeah, thought yeah. we were gonna be at the event the and COD everything. Shit is during this. No, there's COD matches. I don't think. Yeah, apparently there's COD uh, matches. Or, you should just do it on your own then, still. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. But, um, um, so we don't know whether or not we're going to Miami, but I know for sure that I have that that I'm doing Idiots season three in the Florida Keys from the Miami what Berm Cod Major Bermuda Triangle. Ooh, damn! All the way. You Starting know? when? Huh? Starting. Do so you going to the Bahamas and shit? Yeah. What? Caribbean Idiots. You want to come? Hell yeah. You... Ben -ben 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 oh, you love Cuban food. You want to come? Uh, Cuba, say less. I'm Listen, there. You, you, I'll put you on Bro, for I Idiot will, Season 3. I will literally turn into a fucking hog after I leave Cuba yeah. after all the pork I eat. Bro. I will turn into a yeah. pork. You, you like Cubano? Like... Hey, hey, bro. You, love, you like Lechon. pork? Lechon. Pork? Yeah, yeah I love bro. pork. Bro, oh my God. Cuban, Cuban food, pork. Cubanos, yeah, I'm not a short. huge fan of the sandwiches. I mean, they're good. Yeah, I'm, Cuban I sandwiches, I don't not. eat none of the sandwiches. Oh, I okay. eat everything else besides the yeah, sandwiches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You eat the rice, the beans, oh, the my, fucking the rice lechon. with the pork chunks yeah, in it, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, Matt, you heard that. He's coming with to Idiot Season 3. We're going to be gone from for a little bit. It's going to be like a week. No, all right. Wait, yeah. you're saying Miami has a COD thing too? Yeah, the Miami, the Miami major is that that is that has yeah that's happening in March also March twenty yeah. first March twenty five wow. through the twenty yeah, sixth. Like yeah, so um, the way that, that we predicted the the thing is like since we're already since I'm already going to be in Miami for the for the Call of Duty major doing the watch party, then we might as well just do the Florida Keys. So originally it was supposed to be California, then it was Mexico, then but you know just making sense of the time, uh, we figured we do we do this. Um, so cool. I, I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to it. Don't be, if you back out. No, I'm down. All right. I'm so down. We're gone for like a week. All right. Okay. And we eat four times a day. <laughs> yeah. What yeah, is that's... that? What's this behind the scenes like? Yeah, Matt. Cause I don't know, like if y'all are just doing like one or two meals Dude, a day. If you go, go to the, to the season finale on, on, on my channel, it's live now. Um, the season finale of idiots in Chicago, that one, bro, like that one was the most grueling, like season one was like there was space in between them, right? This one, because we we compacted it into a nine day trip. I mean, let's day nine. Day nine, jeez. You're doing that nine days straight, doing nothing but eating, bro. Nothing. Turn that down, man. Turn that down. Turn it down. Right here, we are at uh, Eleven City Breakfast. Fire. Um, but yes, dude. I'm telling you, like we. This is breakfast, right? From here, fast forward a little bit, Matt. Actually, no, 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 no. From here, we go to uh, fast. Just fast forward, man. Just keep scrolling, mm -hmm. keep scrolling. To, I just want to see where amazing. we go to after this. Looks fire, though. That looked amazing, right? Yeah. So this is all going to be one day. Yeah. So we went from there. We went to this distillery where they send where, where they sell uh, this thing called uh, Marlot, Marlot, Malort, Malort. Yeah, okay, you got and the it's arm made up out of that. Truck? It's made out of that seed, huh? You got the arm up on the truck. You were full as hell. Bro, I was so full. I was letting my stomach have yeah. some room to the sides. I already know. Uh, <laughs> obviously, you know, the, these. Tacos, so there we go. These? This, these are tacos that, that, that are wow. from, the, from the spot right down the street where we were painting. So, bam, we ate that. And then from there, we go to this place called Omarcitos. Omarcitos is this Puerto Rican spot. And they fucking hooked it up. It was Fucking crazy, okay? So look at this, right? You this have is your, Marcitos? Yeah, this is uh, Marcitos. Is that that's, some... pla that's pl Platano. Platano? Oh, okay. Yeah, the banana. Ma uh, Platano like macho. Fried plantain. And then we ended the night. So right up until this point, we've eaten three times, okay? We ate oh, breakfast, we ate the tacos, you... 
we have Omarcitos, a Puerto Rican food, and then we ended it at at at, uh, at this Kimsky. Is Omarcitos? No, this is Kimsky. This is uh, Juan's your uh, boys, restaurant. Your yeah. boys restaurant? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, I saw you post. I want to try this spot. Oh, bro, it's he, crazy. They, huh? He came up with this very viral Wait, moment. This is uh, right there, right there. Go back, go back, go back. This is the Asian guy's place. Yeah, yeah. What's his name? Juan. Juan. W O N. Juan Yup Kim. Uh, so right there. Wow. This. What you're looking? Pause that. Pause that. Pause that. Pause that. What you're looking at right here. Actually, let it play. Maybe I'll get a close-up of it. What you're looking at right here is the um, the Puff Daddy. The Puff Daddy is two pizza puffs as bread for a burger, a Wagyu burger. And obviously, because we were celebrating, you know, the the, the success of Idiots and and how great of a time we had, I told him that this had to be like the Great the thing, finale. and up until this point, he hadn't made this. I'm swallowing saliva right now. Up until this point, he went away with it because he, Juan, like the guy that invented uh, Flappy Bird. Do you remember why he stopped doing Flappy Bird? Uh, it just got too crazy. People are just... Yeah, it's just making too much money. $34 yeah. million, dollars a, uh, $14 million a day, too much. He said, like, shut, shut it down. Much. Shut it down. He got viral Maybe. because of that. He's like, I'm not going to be known as the, the, the chef. Pizza yeah, the pizza puff guy. He's probably having guy. lines yeah. out there every damn yeah. day for the pizza puff yeah, burger. Yeah, yeah. But you're talking about like <laughs> a, a good like 800 calories per burger. Those look fucking burger. amazing as well. Wow. Are those fries? Yeah. Truffle fries. So he's as legit as it comes yeah, when he's it comes been on, to... To food? Oh, yeah. He's been on like uh, I mean, impossible... I can tell the way he talks, Yeah, but... He's on, he's been like on Impossible Kitchen. He's got obviously a successful restaurant. Uh, if you guys are from Chicago and you guys haven't visited Kimsky, please do. Yeah, it looks fire. Is it um, downtown? Or yeah. ask, ask Roger. Ask Roger where the best fried rice he's ever had was. You can't like. Is this one of the spots where like they're gonna be booked up every weekend? Like, uh, I would just call ahead just to, just to make sure. But uh, and you he's know, always the one they cooking. Get Keith Lee here. No, he's got he's got a he's got his kitchen. Oh, okay. Those are all the boys right there. My, my high school fire, buddies. Bro. That do look fire. Bro, that Puff Daddy was so fucking crazy. So this whole thing is just uh, all one day? One all day. day nine. That I wouldn't eat. And that. this is day nine. Wait, this why? Is it's Wagyu. Even... Oh, it's Wagyu? Yeah, I'll eat it. He's like, too red? Yeah, not your thing, huh? Dude, it's so good. I yeah, tried. so day nine, bro. Like, I'm, t I'm talking about, like, eating and eating. And, and then we went to, bro, the problem with the restaurants is that we're not going out and trying new things. We're going to... Restaurants that he has, you know, that he knows because he's in the industry and in, 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 the, in, that, mm -hmm. in that community. Um, so every place we go to is like a Michelin star or a, uh, or an, a James Beard award. And then obviously we, we'll try like all the local stuff. I am salivating Bro. looking at this. Bro, that, 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 tr garlic? that's truffle, that's truffle garlic butter. butter. Yep. Jesus Christ. That you thing that he squeezed on. Oh. I'll literally throw up after I eat that though. No. It's so oh, heavy, dude. It was so fucking... truffle butter wagon. That was you? diesel right there. Look at that. Look at that. Those obviously, there's the truffle. Uh, <laughs> oh what God. the? Isn't that hella expensive? Yes, 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 yes. Because yes. I be seeing people get truffle, but they're just like little flakes. That nah, just looked like a half pound. Those are fucking slices. Uh, that's like a, a anyway, slice of truffle. We're there to eat. Okay, we're there to eat. This isn't. This isn't. This isn't for 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 rookies. You know what I'm saying? This is for, this is for people who love to pig out. Tell me the really name of the spot one last time. Kimski. Kimski. K I M for his last name. Ski. Originally it was like a Polish Korean uh, fusion restaurant, and then he just said, "Fuck it, I'm just gonna do my own shit." And you know, he's he's Korean, so yeah, like so some him. of the stuff. Yeah, oh, that one down yeah. for the next time. Well, I that, find those, 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 these are these are these are uh, uh, f carrot fries with roe. Oh, okay. I thought that's what that was. There's may and diesel back there. Nice. They still live in Chicago. Yeah, they just uh, they, oh really? They're like their six month living there. Oh, they what? love it. Diesel's they live in Chicago. Like, yeah, these was like this is the best city I've ever lived in. That's Obviously, what's up. it is. That's what's up. And I'm like, how's that winter? He's like, fuck that snow. <laughs> I I would like to go back to Chicago and like live in the city though. Yeah, because I didn't get the like I I can say I truly have like gotten the Dallas city experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like back when we lived in Barrington, it was like 40 minutes yeah. from the city, so yeah, it's yeah. like. I Never would, I would say Chicago was like we would go there at like midnight and I miss it every day. Yeah, so good. Yeah. Damn. So, well, this guy had Definitely fucking lake views. Yeah, and shit. yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I miss I it too. I miss it too, and I wasn't yeah. even there. I can't say I had the sh the real Chicago experience. I was waking up to that view in the winter, lake frozen. It wasn't even real. I think back on it, and I'm just like, I can't believe I lived there. <laughs> it was it was good for a year, but I like to move around. a little You bit. never got the 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 rope climb. I'm sorry, the climbing rope, right? Oh, no, I got it. Oh, you did? Yeah, I did. 
Six, six stories. Six stories, six stories long. Well, if there was ever a fire, I'm like, yo, you got to break this window tight to this fucking pillar. So I got a six story uh, like rope really? that you throw out the what window. The fuck? <laughs> Wait, I you actually just, got that? Hell just, yeah, I got it. It was like a hundred bucks. I was just Is that like a known thing for people to get? No. Nope. No, uh, no, no. That just, was a risk. They would have been out there. No. <laughs> Oh, no like, just take the stairs. <laughs> I'm like, no. <laughs> he's rope, he's, uh, rope, they would have been mind. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> they would have been mind blown when uh, they saw that going past people's out. windows. <laughs> he's was, saving people on the. I way. was tweaking a little bit. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for major two? Because cheese it, our cheesiest, most tastiest snack, are ready for you. We're gonna be competing against you. On land, if you want to have the opportunity to win a thousand dollars by going up against a legendary player like me, but it's Shotzi, way younger, way better looking, and way more skilled at the game, gearing up right now is the time to do so. Plus, you have the opportunity to win a one year supply of Cheez It crackers. While you're waiting, visit Cheez-It.com to fuel your gaming sessions and stay tuned for more details. If you've been feeling a bit achy, a little bit tense from your recent rank grind. I haven't even started. So don't get me started. I'm not getting started. But if you yourself are all about the grind and you are working your way through the ranks, getting your way up to the top 250 to then get to the top 200, well, VeryHeal.com is here and is committed to helping you access the medical cannabis that you need with ease. The VeryHeal pa uh, platform is super simple to use. Just sign up, talk to a doctor, get approved, and... That's pretty much it. Before you queue into your next match, the MMJ card will be on its way. Unlock an exclusive access to limitless resources and serious savings, all from the comfort of your home. Ready to get started? Visit veryheal.com slash optic. That is V-E-R-I-H-E-A-L dot com slash O-P-T-I-C for $30 off of your first medical cannabis card. Veryheal.com makes relief easy. Link will be in the description. Last, but certainly not least... One of my favorite partners been here. The OG partners. OG partners. Scuff House Day Partners. Mountain Dew has always been your go-to uh, for a refreshing citrus kick. Now, it's also your go-to for gaming rewards. With Mountain Dew Gaming Rewards, you look for codes under the caps of specifically marked 20-ounce bottles of Mountain Dew. Enter those codes online to bank points, and then you can redeem them for some awesome gaming gear. Everything from gift cards, game copies, controllers, consoles, custom Mountain Dew and Opti Gaming gear, and more. Join Mountain Dew Gaming Rewards now. Open to legal U.S. residents 18 and over subject to pro Program terms at mountaindewgaming.com, link in the description, uh, and it ends 1525. That is January 5th, 2025. Void where prohibited. Back to the podcast. Yeah, that's uh that is crazy. Uh yo, what is this Vonderhaar project? I yeah, love I saw it him already. Tweet something out a few Blackout. months ago, but I love it already. Well, Blackout. Vonderhaar has teased a crypto. That's video. what Seth said. Well, is that Maybe Seth has some insider info that maybe we shouldn't disclose. No, we oh, weren't okay, sure. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. He was like, you see the letters? Blackout. Told you so. Wait, Blackout? What's, Wait, what's that? Yeah, what's, what's that, that mean? Because there's, you the see, like, BR. the... Yeah, 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 the, the farm. Yeah, there's, the, like, letters on the... You see it? J. Wait, where? As yeah. this image keeps going, there's going to be letters. You'll see it. Oh. J, L, S, I. Oh, this is a video. Yeah. So, so he's, he's, he's back? Is, is 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 he? What's is this Call of Duty? People were saying Far Cry, Blackout. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Um, so it could be Far Cry, could be Call of Duty. As to um, where he's working at, he left actually, Treyarch. That's though. what I was saying. I was like, I mean, it could be any game. Like at this point, I mean, if he left Call of Duty, like right. what makes people think he's going to be working on Call of Duty again? Uh, dude, I mean, maybe it's his own fucking game. Which I hope so. Probably. If it is, I will support. Yep, same. To, to, gladly, gladly support. That guy had. Always the best intentions for Call of Duty esports. Yeah. All right, fast forward it, man. I want to see these fucking letters in the end, man. Uh, so, maybe. Yeah, what is it like? Start. Oh, okay. Uh, so what does it say? What's it? What's it, wait, wait. What's that? What's a website? Attract screen. Attract screen info. So what do you do? He just tweeted this out. Yeah, and there's there's people who like you know if you go yeah, yeah, if you go yeah, under the tweet. I make video it. games and other things. I live in a van. <laughs> does he actually? That's some shit. I would have put, dude. He was a racer. He was a DJ. Yeah, no, I could see him actually fucking doing that. A, a modern day. Uh, he made Black Ops too. That's all I need to know. Black Ops. Yeah, he made. Well, yeah. Oh, right here, right here. What? Do you know what I'm saying? Like how people yeah, are like, trying that. to decipher him and shit. Uh, pretty 
pleasing, not gonna lie. Oh, it's just shit that happens. Like what it looks like at night. If he's got his own game, that's crazy. Well, he would have made that shit pretty some. fast. When did he leave Treyarch? Like that's exactly six months ago? Like, what he, he's just been no. working on it? Did he leave? When did he leave? Uh, after an incredible 18 years called oh, the movie, yeah. not to explore new opportunities. What, eight months ago? Yeah, eight months ago. <clears throat> you could get some shit done in eight months. He was probably working on that. 18 years? Like on the side, though. Prior. For a while. He's like, I know what I got planned. <laughs> yeah, I let them know. Yeah. Good. Uh, I hope, I hope, Fuck yeah. I hope it's successful and nothing good, nothing but good comes to that man. Can't wait to, damn, imagine what kind of people probably message him on LinkedIn. It's like, you want to come work for fucking Trump? <laughs> This dude, this dude had security surrounding him everywhere he went because he was that important to the bottom line. It was Von Erich. He was the first one at Dallas 2011 that 2011, came in and yeah. like just saw the I was vision next for what to it could be. And he says, why do they spin where they're diffusing? And I was like, oh, it's because it doesn't make a noise. He's like, oh. <laughs> Yo, you motherfuckers! Anytime there was a kill cam, he'd be like, "Yeah, look at that animation." Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> give a fuck about the play. He's like, "Look at that animation." That's awesome. Yeah, OG as as OG as they come, and I say that with obviously being the OG. You know what I'm saying? What do you like OG? OG? Who's more OG than you, mm. Sundance? Clap. Well, it, it depends. On what you mean or maybe by that? Maybe the Call of Duty world, I would say. And listen, I've been playing Call of Duty since 2005. My every day since I started making videos in 2007, the majority of my life has been love it. It's my it my life's years. calling, huh? That, that's almost 20 years. Yeah, dedicating yourself to something that you believe in and that you want nothing but the best for. Yeah. All right. Weather in Texas 90 degrees. Why is that a topic? Look at look at the outside. It's gloomy <laughs> and shit. Near freezing Wednesday morning. Wait, 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 wait. Tomorrow? Cold tomorrow? Is that right, Matt? Let me look this We're going to go from 90 to near freezing? Bro, it's been nice out. I've been barefoot grounding in, yeah. my, in my backyard. <laughs> Damn, man. Did you, do you clear, so, so when you are about to do that, do you walk every foot of your, of your backyard? When I first moved into mine, I walked every inch because I wanted to see where the fucking anthills were. Uh -uh. You have to, because them things will fuck you up. You walk barefoot to find out where no, the... No, what, no, just no, like no, paying no, attention I just walked in, I just walked every, in. Oh, everywhere okay. you walk, so yeah. you don't walk on an anthill. You still have the hay, right? You still have the hay, right? Yeah. My, only like the a, little, only only a little bit like of my grass is growing. I fucking hay in my backyard. Well, your dogs keep digging in. Yeah, it's fucking annoying. Yeah. Like, li I, my, I'm literally... So we got my yard. The sun kind of stops like halfway because mm. the sun's on this side. Yeah, or whatever. Yeah. So like the back... Towards the fence, the grass is growing, mm -hmm. and then the other half, it's not growing at all. It's about to look dumb as shit. Like I'm gonna have <laughs> just like full grown grass, and then just mud, and like where uh. the mud is and dirt, because like no sun's getting to it, so it's just like always wet. Like Chewy's always fucking with it, just digging holes. My yard's gonna look stupid. I'm gonna put you in but contact where there is grass. I've been out there grounding. Just I'll, I'll literally just stand there. Yeah. Look like into the sun. Minutes. Do you look into the sun with your eyes closed? Uh, you should. I mean, not for long. No, you should. You look really? into it with your eyes well, yeah, closed. Just, I look like, at it. For, you have your, your I eyes are closed. Three seconds. I mean, open. that's that is pretty much what I do. Yeah, your eyes are closed and looking into the sun. Like just let the rays. Yeah, let, beam just let the rays. And what's crazy about that is that there, that there have been studies that that have said that like if you're if if you're sun tanning like if if your activity is laying on a bed, letting the sun overtake you and you're wearing sunglasses, then what you are disallowing your eyes to measure is the amount of um, rays that are coming in and therefore your melanin doesn't get, you know what I'm saying? Like doesn't release the, the, the yeah, amount. Your body you doesn't fully know because you're blocking yeah, exactly, off. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, if you're, if you're out there driving and shit and all that stuff, then obviously fishing for sure, for sure. We're looking cool for sure. Wear, uh, wear your sunglasses. But if you're, if you're literally at the pool sun tanning with no other activity and you're not moving then you should not be wearing that and also you get a more even tan all over the you, you get people. tanner if you don't wear yeah. sunglasses yeah mm. i don't tan yeah no, i just you, burn you burn uh wear your i actually did tan a little bit like, because i was in the sun a lot last summer i go and, for, like i got darker like i had 
even like up until I think a few months ago, I still had like tan lines. I mean, right now I'm just pale, but like, take a screenshot, tan, take but. a screenshot of me right now and then watch on the next podcast. Wait, where are you going after this? I got a, uh, I got the, the, the fishing trip that I got to go film. Oh shit. For real? Yeah. I'm going to go dark. from, I'm going to go from Chihuahuense, which is Chihuahua, Chihuahua, uh, Chihuahua man, to a Yucateco. Mexican you on deep in Yucatan yeah just dark my grand my grandpa is from uh from Yucatan on my dad's side is that a peninsula I feel yeah, like yeah. I've heard of the Yucatan yeah, yeah, peninsula yeah yeah, yeah. this is the boot the, the tip of the boot yeah I just burn it kind of sucks too because like you never really got respect for burning <laughs> Like back in school, all I got was cancer. Back in school, like the girls would go after the tan dudes in the summer. Tell, tell the story. <laughs> you don't want one of these, bro. I got like three of them. I got scars over here. This is Wait, short. from burnt, from no. summer, basal cancer. cell carcinomas, like from being burned when I was a kid. Really? Yeah. Wear your sunscreen, especially if you say what? So it was cancer. Yeah. They're Just, like you they're, they're skin cancer. They're relatively like they're not the serious like melanoma that kills you, but uh, it's like yeah, but like, like but it can develop into that. No, and they said no. it was just from like as a kid being burned. So. Yeah, they say all it takes is like one, one time, like a bad burn, one bad burn. Or just yeah. like it was probably it was Austin. Remember that shit? Yeah, the X Games. Yeah, I yeah. got fucked. You up. were a fucking really? lobster, dude. It was so bad. bad. It yeah, was it was. Bro, Austin was uh, Austin. Nate's fucking bachelor was bad too. Oh yeah, I you, was like a lobster. <laughs> 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 Nah, yeah. So we went to obviously when we won the the gold medal. Yep. Um, he came out just to support because he at that point he was just creating content. Yep. And yeah, he was, got fucking bad. burnt to shit because the area in which they 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 held it in is at the uh, at the Circuit of the Americas. If people don't know, the Circuit of the Americas is that racetrack in which everything happens: NASCAR, fucking uh, F one, yep. and all that. It is, I believe, wholeheartedly, it is the worst place on earth. Because there's only one way in and one way out. Yep. And to get out, it is the most obscene thing ever. Bro, to get to play your match, you got to leave like where everyone's eating, drinking, walk across a parking lot, go into the grass, walk up a grassy hill. It's wow, literally it's just like on a huge hill, really? isn't yeah. it? And they had all the That's tents weird. that were Dude, out there. You're sweating Wait, bullets was it before you that, even play that a match. That was X Games? Mm -hmm. yeah. you're, you're sweating and the sweat's drying off instantly at the same time. <laughs> it's like your skin is literally boiling. <laughs> no, I'd be Unless so, you're me. Like right? you, you're walking to your match, you get sweaty. Like you're, you're, then you get into the, what? Like air conditioned room. Yeah, and, like, tents, your pits are air cold. Air tents. Oh weird. my God. Yeah, that that was, so bad. That sucks. There it is. I mean, but X Games shit, all, they always shot a movie. Yo, we saw Mac Miller yeah. perform there. We watched Mac Miller and Kanye like yeah. this close. This like, close. Wait, Maddie's. that's where that was? Yeah. Right? yeah. Bro, it's like, it's like, oh shit, Kim's here too. And Bozo, Bozo, Bozo. Oh my God, are great. <laughs> it's Kim. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He started singing "My Nike's on My Feet." I took my shoe off, and I'm like, and I'm looking around. I, I'm looking around, and I'm like, these little ass kids don't know how to fucking go to a fucking concert. And I'm fucking sitting there. Um, That's old. I try. No, I actually did that. You know where I did that at? Uh, I did that at the Mavs game. I was at a Mavs game. Yeah. They're like shoe cam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone started going crazy for this dude with some designer shoes. I had the Travis's on. I'm yeah. like. <laughs> yeah, they didn't catch you. Nah. <laughs> uh, I'd be yeah. trying to get on the jumbotron. Well, I mean, I think have I been to one or two of the Mavs games? But like every time they're doing some d jumbotron, they never put it on me though. Yeah, I just want my five seconds of fame. They put me on. I start getting booed. No, oh, that's life. No, what did Ronaldo do? Obscene gesture. Doesn't sound like Ronaldo. It <laughs> sound like something he'd do. He's a clean, he's a clean, he's a... Oh! Damn! Oh, me la pelan, dijo. Oh, he just started gonna, stroking? They're not going to like yeah. that. Oh. Oh, they're not going to like that. Uh, dude, what I bet you... What does that mean? Not good. He's, he's going to pay some money for they're that. Gonna that they all jerk him off. It's, it was a very popular... Damn. But, I mean, that's crazy that he does it upside down, right? Like, yeah, that's... it's like... You you just got... In, <laughs> you just got an insight as to how he does it. <laughs> that's how he does that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because oh, most most people are gonna do, you know, they're they're gonna hit them with those. Most people do like a low motion. Yeah, He's that's actually insane. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you that people would have been more mad if he would have done this instead. That's what I thought he was doing at first, but bro, I'm I'm I hate to be this. I'm so confused at like how soccer works. 
Like, I understand how the game works. I get, no, like, everything that goes on. Like, whoa, the goalie and where, how you can, But I don't understand You're the talking about, like, the league. so many of them. Oh, yeah. It's the most popular and sport. And the same players the will be playing on different teams, like, half the time. Like, different leagues. Messi yeah. will be in. I don't get it. I don't understand. Well, it, Messi man. is the from the World Cup, and then he's in so the first So he has to play for his country of Argentina. During the World Cup. During the World Cup only. Right. Or unless there's like a... He probably loses the well, people. that I understand. Like, no, it's like the, that's like All-Star if you're on West. Yes. You're, yes. I understand that part. Yeah. But I'm saying like, okay, so Ronaldo's in the Saudi, pro Saudi league, right? Mm-hmm. Do, will he ever play Messi's team at all? They, they just did. Okay. They just did? So they yeah, played they just other... did. And they, they, they just did. He couldn't play. I thought Messi only played for the Miami team, though. That's what that's see what I'm no, doing. No, they <laughs> so there, there's you can loan players to certain things, right? <laughs> no, what? Yeah. Bro, there's just so much that? going on. Yeah, I love you do. This sport. You do, but but it makes sense. <clears throat> It'd be like this, right? It's like you play Call of Duty for Optic, right? But at the but but there's an All Star game. You get to play for the so East, that's, for that's the, the for World the East Cup because yeah, yeah. you're from New Jersey. Yeah. Or if there is a a a a 50 team tournament where every player from every state represents their own shit. Optic like you would be on that and it'd be allowed for you to be there, right? Like you yeah. you show up with your fucking New Jersey jersey. <laughs> that would be a fun tournament. <laughs> a New Jersey jersey. Um but yeah, and also like if you yeah, it's because there's, there's the Euro Cup also, right? So if you're in Europe, there's like the, I don't know, it's fucking it's crazy. I just, so, soccer enthusiasts, so football what, enthusiasts. Let's just say Chris, uh, Ronaldo wins, like, whatever the last tournament is, the biggest one. He outbeat everybody. In like, the is there, what what's the one tournament? What's like, the, their co- at their COD what's champs. Worlds? Yeah, what's Worlds? World, the, the, the World, World Cup. Cup. Okay. But it, the World Cup, don't they have to play for their... Country. Country, yeah. Like, yeah. that... Part of the process, I understand. I just don't get how league ranking work. If there's a Saudi league, and then like, how do you Messi's know who's in the Miami. best? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah let's, exactly. let's put it like this: If there was a World Cup of Call of Duty, Pred would go play for Australia. Yeah, and get destroyed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> um, former NFL MVP Cam Newton. You you heard about this? Oh, he was yeah. working them boys. He yeah. had one in the fucking I headlock. Mean, it's Cam he Newton, bro. One. Yeah, you don't. Grab him he was just hair. he was just yeah. yoking them all. That's exactly what I would do if I was him. No need to throw a punch. The dude he has by the hair is like a youth coach, and yeah. was like kind of talking crazy about Cam before all this. It's so it's funny because like bro, if he That's wanted a to throw punches, professional athlete. If he was throwing punches, bro, bodies would be dropping like flies. Oh, I didn't know it happened at a football game. It was like a kids football game. How do you get into a? First off, where is his? Where, Security where are his boys? His He's boys. joking him. Look, come here, young boy. Like, how Take are you that. Cam Newton with not like an entourage or something around you? Damn. Yeah, that's a that's a big dude. Yeah, fuck that. And he's used to like. <laughs> He's he used to 300 he pound linemen oh, coming yeah. after him. Like, you're not. Yeah, yeah it's, it's just it there's 300 he pounds. Got but imagine up. the amount of force that's exerted. <laughs> no, the question is, how is his hat still on? Legend. His little top hat just staying Legend. perfectly on his head. That means, not a problem. Yeah, that means he came out unscathed. Like, you got it. Like, uh, this, is, this is mob action right here, right? Like, you, you, you have this, like, you're with your boys and you feel unstoppable. Uh, but that's a fucking professional football, football athlete. Football. Just wondering how that even happens. Like, what are they arguing about? Is he Is getting a Cam fight? Cam Newton jumped by a TSP crew, and the dudes he beat Wait, up. That's or the TSP crew, not What's... beat up, but those dudes are getting roasted. Where did you read that? It's oh, at his own seven v seven football tournament. Like, nice. You jump Cam Newton, bro. But they're and the the guys that's... are getting roasted. They found all their like Instagrams. One one's like a, a youth coach and some and people are like trying to get him fired, contacting the organizations. Yeah, like bro, why like, are you fighting can a quarterback? Did you're you guys... jumping a guy, doing no damage, no. and then losing go practically down, your down, life man. over it. Like, <laughs> right there, stop. Look at the second comment on this thing, right? Like that is what people should be fucking focusing. You can make the screen a little bit bigger, Matt. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Cam really not. tries to help out these ungrateful <laughs> asses with his cams, and some nonsense always happens. I wouldn't be mad if he just left and stayed rich, not worth this. Yeah. Do you ever see um, Marshawn Lynch's like at his like football? There's like a, a lady who's like telling him like, "Please don't use that profanity with the kids." He's like, "Ma'am, do you have a man here I could talk to?" Yeah. <laughs> He's like. 
do you have a man here I can talk to? <laughs> He's like explaining to her, like, this is how this shit works. If mm-hmm. that was like, my girl, I'd be like, you fucking idiot. Like, great. Now Marshawn yeah. hates us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, I, now I got a squabble with Marshawn Lynch. <laughs> I don't know if has Seth ever told a story between him and and, and Marshawn and what happened at the at, at the Vegas bar. That's what I'm doing. No, I, 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 it, it is a thing though. Ask him. I hate- ask him. It ha- like it literally happened. Ask really? Him. Yeah, yeah. Um, all I heard, right. Yeah, I heard well, something about fine. Marshawn. I'm gonna say when his camera's off though. Yeah, he's my favorite. One of my favorite players. Same, same, same. same. And Pac-Man Jones. Shout out Pac-Man Jones. Adam Pac-Man Jones. If you watch the podcast, I fucks with you. Yeah, come on the podcast, man. Shout out Pac-Man. I wonder who the most random person to watch this podcast is. Like, yeah, celebrity-wise. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, someone just randomly checked. Like, I if would... LeBron... John Rom. John Rom is what I would have said. Oh. That like, was the most... That that caught me... Wait, who's John Rom? Best golfer in the world. Oh, really? Yeah, he's... When, when he won yeah. the Masters... Two years ago, he's they ask him like during the interview, like, "Hey, what what was your day like? Like, obviously, you just won your first Masters, and like, what was your day like waking up and blah?" He's like, "Well, I uh, I woke up and and watched. Uh, this is gonna surprise a lot of people. I, I I'm I actually like literally quoting word for word. Um, it's gonna surprise a lot of people, but I, I got up and I watched my favorite team, the uh, Optic Chicago, play their Call of Duty game and what the had, hell? Bre- oh, had breakfast like, with the. Uh, no one had any idea. That I he was, know, like, into bro. It? Uh, Matt so Kendrick uh, and and my one of my other business partners, Brian, they texted me immediately, and I'm like, and I'm press play, and I'm like, who's this? And it's like, <laughs> he just won the Masters, and I'm like, oh shit. And then I started doing my research. I'm like, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. bro. There's still I. No matter what, I know there's still that little thing that lingers like people are scared to say they watch video games still yeah like that's why he's that's why he's probably like you know it's gonna shock a lot of people let me throw this out there before you start freaking out like i love video games nothing wrong with it right there play it that's fucking crazy shout out john rom right when you wake up where your mind starts going (laughs) i got woken up by crows i don't know why but that's what i was thinking i was thinking man those birds um no, I mean, I did the same routine, you know, uh, for people that follow this, and I'm going I'm to shock a few people. I woke <laughs> up excited because I could watch uh, a match that uh, a Call of Duty tournament, you know, which was esports that was going on. Fuck uh, a yeah. Team that I follow, That's which is Optic Chicago, had just played in, uh, the night before, Damn. and I knew I could watch it. It's about an hour and a half, so I had Amazing. a busy morning. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I went downstairs, you know, got my water, my coffee. The chef was making breakfast, and I was just watching my, my Call of Duty event. That's as simple as that. Then Kelly came down with <laughs> the chef was making breakfast time. while I watched the and Call of Duty event. event. Um, I know, shocking for some people, but yeah, that's what I was doing. And then he We're proceeded go from the there to win. Analyst. He won the U.S. Open. It looks like. Oh, this is after he won. What a fucking story. Yeah, well, I'm bro. saying that oh, was yeah, his, yeah. Morning, his morning. And yep. he did all that and then he goes and wins the one that you That's so crazy, <laughs> right? He's like, he's, he's like, all right, this is like fucking like, dashy and scump. And yeah, no, I wonder if he would, that gave him some dope for the match. Did you really yeah, scump? Let's go. <laughs> uh, don't look up this day and what we played because maybe we lost that. It's <laughs> just, just not like. Uh, but yeah, that uh, that that was pretty cool. That to me, that one, that one was random. That one was random. Uh, another time where I got caught off guard was um, um, when Ben Simmons. Uh, the first time that I interacted with Ben Simmons, um, I had just done a vlog because I was I was doing like a like a like a sponsored. Not a sponsored thing, but we, me and, and the guy that used to sell our sponsorship at the time, me and him were out in New York selling sponsorships to like brands and shit. We we're at this brand event and we were talking. And then that night we went to the NBA um, uh, draft. And, oh, shit. And, and that's where Ben got drafted number one. And, you know, I have him on video. I'm like in my vlog, I'm like recording him getting drafted, blah, blah. And then uh, JCap, he's like, yo, follow that dude. Follow that. He follows all of you guys. Follow, follow him. I follow him, and then that's when he said, he's like, I can't believe you didn't let me join Optic when I was 13. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I was like, damn, that's crazy. <laughs> that's fucking nuts. Yeah, that was fucking cool. So I don't know. If you are, if you are of, of uh, if you're a professional athlete or a superstar, and you watch this podcast, don't be shy. I, you know what? Let I went know. through down a rap, little rabbit hole of people who are, like, do shit in the world, like celebrities, whatever yeah. they do, and they put, like, Reddit 
post out there for people to just ask them whatever, but you don't never know who, who the mm-hmm, fuck you're mm-hmm. asking. It could be fucking a doctor or it could be an A-list. Celebrity. There's people that figured out who it was too. Oh, really? Yeah, there's people who that do like anonymous caught. Q&As? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, like, what do they do? I'm a movie actor. I'm not going to tell you who I am, uh, but ask me anything you want. That's dope. Yeah. Have you been in that? It's like a true like A-list celebrity yeah, movie yeah. actors actually like sitting down there doing it. It's pretty cool. Like you gotta be, you gotta be bored. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be. I'm wondering, like, how bored do A-list you get? celebrity. But also, it's probably like, I don't know. It is interesting. Like, it's probably interesting to do. There, there, is, there the isn't a single, the there isn't a single thing that you can do. Well, I mean, there's one thing, right? But there isn't one thing that, that you can do over and over again and not get bored of, right? Like, a, like if you're waking up every single day and, and just going out into the beach, laying down, having a Corona, having a margarita right after that, having some tacos. Yeah, every, to you. you get used to everything. Yeah, you're just like, ah. Uh, like, my first, sick of this shit. first two weeks in my house, I was like, this is amazing. I feel like a, a weight is lifted off my shoulders. There's so much open room. Now you're back room. to square one. Now I'm just like, now what? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, same, actually... Not really, because I do really fuck with it. But have you, you guys I mean. have you guys watched Dune the first one? You saw? I it. watched the first one. Yeah, it was dope. Have you? No, you don't watch movies, right? I didn't watch Dune. No. Dude, Dune was. I'm starting Marvel. I just okay. watched the first Captain America or whatever. Yeah, and then are I you watched... doing it in chronological order? Yeah, oh, that's right. smart. Then I watched. I wish I could go back. The and girl that. one. Mar- I think uh, that came out. Mar- uh, that was next. Cap- Captain, Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. Yeah. So the... that's that's what I'm. I Wait, are you, so you, like you are going in chronological order? Hmm. When does Iron Man one come out for you? Probably That's, next. I think, it's like I think three the or Hulk. four. I think next it might be the Hawk and then Iron Man. Yep. Dude, Iron Man one is one of my favorite videos or movies of of the, of that series. The probably my favorite one. It's really good. So Doom Part Two just came out. Hutch went to go see it. He, I, 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 I love my guy, but I can't. I. I some of the shit he says is like he thinks he thinks that Aquaman was one of the greatest fucking action food and it was I you know so <laughs> I, I don't know but and, and he like you know but for this doing one he was going above and beyond it's the I highest rated I've seen a rated. lot of people yeah say it's really good so what it is, is it about uh, it's a post-apocalyptic Ooh, um, my favorite this is after AI destroyed worlds and all this stuff there's no computers and you, I, I haven't read the book and the only thing I know about this is what I saw in the first movie yeah it's based off the books which were super super popular back in the day wait are you reading anything right now Will? reading? no, no. you don't read? not Just books I went on a kick for like a couple months where I was doing the audio books I listened to uh, what was it Matthew McConaughey he did um, I don't it wasn't Maybe it was like his biography or something. Good. It's good. It's titled talking. "All Right, All Right, All Right." Dude, he yeah. narrates it. It's so yeah, good. I listen to I that, and then good. Atomic Habits. I listen to that, but that's been a while ago. I need a yeah. Maybe I need yeah. That was it. Green Light book. <clears throat> that's the man right there. What about? Yeah, it was super good. Is the first Dune good? What is, this is Dune too? Yeah. Like is yeah. Dune a movie I need to watch? Yeah, it's so I love, good. I love post. Apocalyptic stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, like this one's on, on, on fantasy. On a, it, this one's really. It, I mean, it is. It is sci-fi. So you are spaceships and aliens and that sort of shit. Fire. You you don't believe in aliens? No, I do, but I, I don't really watch that kind of shit in movies. You just I'm the same up. way. Like sci-fi stuff. Like okay. I can appreciate it, but I just once it gets unrealistic, even yeah, action yeah, yeah, movies. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. I see people, besides like John Wick, I love John Wick movies. But besides that, when I Equalizer? see one dude take on, so like Marvel and I love shit, you Denzel, but it? like I watch that and I'm just like, you're fucking dead if five guys come at you and like <laughs> yeah. you're just not. It's, it's so not like no happen. Marvel movies and stuff. Okay. I kind of like Marvel movies. I kind of like those. Um, I just I'm a documentary guy. Same, yeah. Everything documentary, everything. Have you watched the Men Who Built America yet? Is that the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not all of it, but I one saw of my the, favorites. the Rockefeller one. America? The Man Who Built America, yeah. Movie? Uh, it's, uh, it's a... Documentary? It's not a documentary, but it's a show about like how, a it, historical... how, how it happened. Really good. Are they still running it? No, it's just, uh, it was just uh, no, saying, a mini, like, miniseries. The, who was it, Rockefellers? Rockefeller, Vanderbilt. Are they still running it? Carnegie. One of them just died. Rothschild. Rothschild, yeah. Shh. Right. Oh, they have us. I saw. I think it was like a TikTok or something. It, isn't it our crazy banks are how their banks. our bank is their their bank. pockets? Yeah. So like they when they go take out money at the ATM, it's like all our, of our money. Shit. It's <laughs> our money. <laughs> like we're, we're we're so controlled. We'll be in the middle of nowhere, 
and like it'll be light out to where we can see you but there will be a stop sign and we'll just stop no cars coming not me. at all <laughs> not me and there's no not car me. anywhere here not and we'll me. still stop not we'll me. still lo- listen to that red light not even me. though it's like not me it's just crazy like they were just pointing out little like things of just like how how they systematically that, put us in how we're that how in they systematically put us in such control there is that but imagine no structure in a yeah, society no, that would be give it three yeah. days it's fucking oh, chaos okay. Bro, imagine if the grid went down no yeah. red lights Please, oh, grocery store is done three days people are killing each debit other cards not working. Debit yeah. cards don't work nothing it's done. Over. i would have you'd have to immediately start robbing that's why when you texted that the other day you were like yo emp on the u.s yeah. i literally i started googling like, wait, 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 I'm wait, telling wait, you, if know. they hit that grid, it's over. No, yeah. well, you don't think that they just did? The FBI was investigating whether or not there was a cyber attack. What else would possibly the what entire else would, yeah. cellular no, network no, for the but, US? But no, no, no. He, he, here's what people just, even you just now by saying the entire cellular. No, think about that. They just took down the cellular network. Not the internet worked. Yeah, just, I didn't even know Just cellular. That. So to have the capacity to pick and choose what gets taken down, that's crazy. Yeah. You know, I didn't notice it. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's how they would collapse us. And, and yeah. I have AT&T. Yes. I looked at That'd my phone and said SOS, smaller. and it happened at 2.30 in the morning. Cause, oh, uh, really? Yeah, and I was like, because I, 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 I got up, and I was just like, I'm like, what the fuck? And it, said, and it gave me a, a thing, it's like, uh, cellular network is down, and, about, and I woke up, same thing, and I, I started texting people. And oh, it was a couple days notice. before that the, uh, the U.S. said there was some... What did they say? Solar uh, flares? No, not solar flares, but they were just saying there was an imminent, like... Attack. Not attack, but... They just to be aware, uh, yeah. national security threat is yeah. what they called it. And then a couple of days after the cellular network goes down. Was it the NATO guy? Uh, I think so. And then it came out, they were talking about Russia wanting to put a nuke in space or something, which would yeah. definitely, it would do so, it. So that's another thing is we have space, like literally space fucking security because if they knock down our satellite in space, it's really over. That's right. worse than the grid. It'll right. be for real. Like we might as well just start killing ourselves. We might as well just start killing ourselves. <laughs> trying to straight up. Nah, I'm going down with Matt a fight. Like that. I, I like. <laughs> I say this like I'm like confident about it, but like I fantasize about like the Earth shit hitting the fan. Fantasize. Not imagine. He fantasizes about it. About like shit hitting the fan and it's just like back to... Bro, it would be... We got a small taste of it with COVID. Yeah. Like the smallest taste. Like the grocery stores just started getting kind of... Like you walk up and you're like, damn, there's no fruit. (laughs) What the fuck? No toilet paper. Yeah, no toilet paper. Like I kind of loved COVID. I mean, that's because I was... (laughs) Oh, that's because I was cracked out playing Halo 3 what? and I didn't what? have to do anything. Yesterday was... we were just having a conversation. I'm like, people were talking and out of nowhere I blurted out, COVID was low-key fire. And COVID I was, was like, lit. Whoops. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, I mean, I was a victim of it, but it was a, yeah. it was like a met and way more. I met people that are still in my life today, had fun. Like, I hate to say it was a bad time, but like. For me, like economically COVID. speaking, 2020 and oh. 2021. It, crushing <laughs> like, i feel bad but this is great <laughs> yeah no definitely what is it just like home-owned businesses got yeah fucked yeah but besides that i don't want anything like that to happen but i mean if shit does hit the fan well this i kind of not that i look forward we're to good it here. but i imagine what it'd be like and can you grow food yeah can you grow food i can't grow food do you have a a, a water retention uh, I'm system. not ready. You don't have a water. I am not. You, I, I'm you not are ready. homeowners. I go to my brother's house. He's like not a doomsday prepper, but he has yeah. like a full my ki- my kind safe. of guy. And it's like with Hex's a number house. pad. And if on, you don't let like, me in, I just got to rob or kill him. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna. Let, I'm just gonna let you. <laughs> no, we, we'd be good in Texas. Think about it. Some crazy shit happened. We'd have people patrolling the streets. Everyone got firearms. Ain't For nobody. sure, it would take a week, and you'd have like a little neighborhood oh, militia, oh, like yeah, driving yeah. <laughs> until the leader of that militia is like, you know, he's like, "Oh, I want what he has." And yep, like, you know how that shit sets, goes. sets you up, moves you out. Universe, but then we don't want to listen to them, so nah. we start our own. There, yeah. Then there's a little war, war. in Texas. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly how I go. Just remember, man, prepare yourself. Then you got to reproduce it's, every day, just getting girls just pregnant left and right. Every day, but I can't. I'm. I'm I got a girl, so I. I, I opt out. <laughs> I'm not even interested. No, of course not. We are. Not we at are. All. 
<laughs> we, we, we are men That's of disgusting honor disgusting to even think about. Yes, we are men of honor. We do not discuss these disgusting things. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for episode 164 of the Optic Podcast. Uh, we will see you guys next week. Next week.